don't want to say to you. No, no. Me first. Oh, Cody. Jerry. I'm always. Hey. What's going on? We're straightening out. Hey, look at naked people. <laughs> no, I don't want to see the naked people. Been a while. <laughs> I have a vague recollection of doing something with someone, but it was a long, long time ago. I think my last time was in Rochester. My hair was a lot shorter. I remember that it's a good thing. And someday, I hope to do it again. What? What? What was that look? What look? The look you just gave me? I gave a look? Yes. What kind of a look? I know that look. <laughs> Why should I tell you? Well, well, you're the big look expert. <laughs> I want to see how smart you are. Trust me, I know the look. So? What? What about the look? I don't know. You got something on your mind? No. Things pop into your head. You? Things occur to me from time to time. Yeah, me too. Well, you can't expect to just forget the past completely. Well, no, of course not. I mean, it's something we did. Probably about, what, 25 times? 37. <laughs> Yeah, we pretty much know what we're doing in there. We know the terrain. No big surprises. Nope. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Well, it's something to consider. Yeah. I mean, let's say, what if we did? What if? Is that like the end of the world or something? Certainly not. Why shouldn't we be able to do that once in a while if we want to? I know! I mean, really, what is the big deal? We go in there, we're in there for a while, and we come back down here. It's not complicated. It's almost stupid if we didn't. It's more loving. Absurd! Of course. I guess maybe some little problems could arise. Well, there are always a few. I mean, if anything happened and we couldn't be friends the way we are now, that would really be bad. Devastating. Because this is very good. <laughs> and that would be good. That would be good, too. <laughs> the idea is to combine the this and the that. <laughs> But this cannot be disturbed. Yeah, we, 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 we just want to take this and add that. But of course, we'd have to figure out a way to avoid the things that cause the little problems. Maybe mm. some rules or something. Huh. For example, <laughs> now I call you whenever I'm inclined and vice versa. Right. But if we did that, we might feel a certain obligation to call. Uh, well, why should that be? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. No calls the day after that. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's make it a rule. All right, sir. <laughs> now, here's another little rule. Yeah. When we see each other now, we retire to our separate quarters. But sometimes, when people get involved with that, they feel pressure to sleep over. When that is not really sleep. <laughs> sleep is separate from that. And I don't see why sleep 
got all tied up and connected with that. Okay, okay, rule number two, spending the night is optional. Well, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Those. I'm gonna put Elaine's stuff in here. Oh, don't sleep in there. You can sleep in the bedroom. Oh, I can't take your bedroom. I'm up at six o'clock in the morning. I can't get you out of your bed. We don't even sleep. <laughs> Ma. But this is a sofa bed. You'll be uncomfortable. What about you? Why should I be comfortable? <laughs> what about him? Don't worry, he's comfortable. I'll sleep standing up. I'll be fine. <laughs> Will you stop? Yeah, I'm, I'll just stand here. Jerry. Jerry, you don't have to stay on the couch on my account. The two of you could stay in there together. No, nah, that's not such a good idea. Well, I thought that you not could... Not now. She's right in... What happened? I don't know. We decided we don't really work as a couple. What does that mean? Huh? Why are you whispering? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Elaine. What about her? <laughs> so, you know, look at uh, the uh, sun-dried tomatoes. Where were they five years ago? You know, it just goes to show you. You never know what, what uh, you know, what could happen to a vegetable. Could just take right off at any time. We've tried all kinds of arrangements, but we can't seem to be friends when we sleep together. Why do you need more friends? <laughs> you got plenty of friends. He's an idealist. What the hell are you looking for? I'm looking. That's the point. I like looking. He likes looking. So look. But how long can you look? I'm going for the record. <laughs> but she's twisted. Twisted? God, I did you a favor. I thought you said they had a good time. Is there anything else you're keeping from me? Are you calling me a liar? I'm calling you one if you are one. Are you a liar? Are you? Get your finger out of my face. You get yours out. I was here first. I don't care. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, sure. Hey, all right. Hey, hey, come on. Stop. Come on. Break it up. Hey! What's the matter with you? Now, don't you two see that you're in love with each other? I mean, why can't you face that already? You're running around out there looking for something that's not even there when everything that you dream of is right here, right here in front of you. Now, why can't you admit that? Oh, God. I need a drink. Do you got any Hedingans here? Yeah, under the counter. What happened? Oh, God. Oh, Jerry, it was so terrible what we just went through on the way home. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, tell me what happened. <laughs> okay, now listen. We were at the toll booth at the Henry Hudson Parkway, okay? And there were these, like, this pack of, of extremely wild teenagers in a convertible behind us, okay? And for some reason, I, I don't know, they just started to taunt us. And so, and so then we paid the toll, and then, and then we went through, and then they started to follow us, all right? So George tries to lose them, and, 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 but, but they were in this really, uh, like, a souped-up car, you know? And so he, he turned off the road really suddenly, and the car was on two wheels and I was just screaming. And, and, and George is such a great driver. 
He is? Oh, he is fantastic. And then they fired a gun right up in the air. A gun? I think it was a gun. And then, and then they followed us all the way into the city, and then they just stopped, and they turned around, and they went home. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. God. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, the car hit a pothole, and now it's making a clanking noise. Oh, well, I mean, as long as you're okay, that... <laughs> That's the important thing. Exactly. Oh, well, if it isn't the first lady of the American theater. <laughs> what brings you here? Just gonna return some of your things that were in my house. Oh, and I've got some things of yours here. I know. Well, I'll get them. I'm waiting. All right. You got, you got my fins? Yeah, I got your fins. You have my poker chips? I got your poker chips. You got my goggles? They're next to the fins. You got my cards? They're next to the poker chips. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that just about? Does it? I guess. Okay, well, see you around. Yeah, see you. All right, let's go. I'll give you half an hour. Are you serious? Look, Jerry, we have to have sex to save the friendship. Sex to save the friendship. Well... If we have to, we have to. It's all George's fault. All that talk about impotence, it got to me. And that orgasm stuff. Orgasm this and orgasm that. It's a lot of pressure. You know, I'm a little hungry. You wouldn't happen to have any of that mango left. I'm not gonna believe this. Now Lipman is renounced. This Shiksa thing is totally out of control. What is with you people? <laughs> what are you looking at? Sit down, Elaine. Oh no, Jerry, I can't take any more gentle sobbing. I've been thinking about what it means to be complete. Do you have an apple or anything? Look at us hurtling through space on this big blue marble. Nectarine, I would absolutely love a nectarine. Looking everywhere for some kind of meaning. Oh, it's such a fruit mood. Ah! Banana. When all the while, the real secret to happiness has been right here in front of us. What? Elaine. Jerry, I found a way to beat Lloyd Braun. I buy the computers myself, I store them in your apartment. Then after I win the contest, I bring them all back, I get my money back. It's brilliant. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with your leg? <laughs> I'm asking Elaine to marry me. I'll store these over at Kramer's apartment. Then. It's all right. Oh, my. Elaine? Um, Jerry, I got a lot going on with um, Lippman right now. Lippman? <clears throat> yeah, and him too. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think George is calling me, so I'm going to go give him a hand. And just like, come on. Come on! Can I help you? <laughs> All right, Jerome, I'm in. What? Maybe we should get married. Maybe everything we need is right here in front of us. Jer, let's do it. I tell you, I don't see it happening. <laughs> what? What happened to the new Jerry? He doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> oh, well, that's just great! <laughs> 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 